And we're back with everybody's favorite obscure video game reviewers in the sizzling new show, Cooking With Myself. So the recipe called for a tablespoon of vinegar, but I'm just gonna have to make do. I mean, have you ever seen a spoon the size of a table? Cooking experience? Oh no, trust me, I can barely bake an omelet. Lucky for me, that guy's an idiot. You bake omelets, right? Hamster and Bomb are going head to head in this frantic food fight cook-off. Now I swear, if the judges don't like this lamb roast Dijon sandwich, then maybe they shouldn't have given me Pop-Tarts for bread. What the heck, science? You go and change the rules on me like that? So apparently, you don't pour water on a grease fire. It's Cooking With Myself, only on Food Network, where washed up celebrities go to die. Forget that noise, let's just play Overcooked instead. Yeah, I mean, screw that place. I'm sure this will be smoking. I don't know about that, but I better grab your controller. We're going in hot. Wait, I'm involved? Well, duh, it's a frantic co-op game. We need to work together. So can you resist making the obligatory playing with myself joke? But, 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 it, but it's so perfect. Get some noodles on the fryer and chop me up some meatballs and... Man, I can't cook. You're just playing with yourself. Okay, we've got an order for a Hawaiian burger coming up next, so I'll get the meat cooking. Overcooked is a crazy co-op cooking game where you create and serve various meals in a fast-paced, ridiculous kitchen environment where you'll navigate tough spaces to prepare ingredients and cooperate with your fellow chefs to better optimize your strategy and communication skills to succeed with a high score and clear each level. I'll just plate it later. Did you get that pineapple chopped yet? The oh, kitchen layouts and orders get progressively more outrageous as you go, demanding seamless cooperation between you and your teammates if you have any hope of surviving the level. The more orders you fill and the less you fail, the higher score you will get in the end, ranking your score in three stars with an extra fourth star to earn with repeat playthroughs. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the upcoming orders. In Overcooked 2, you'll gain the ability to throw food, which allows for some even more intense kitchen designs and frantic gameplay. There's also a ton of DLC levels expanding on the mechanics with new dishes to prepare and challenges to overcome, like battling zombie survival horde levels. You just deliver the last order before it's too late. In Overcooked, all you can eat You'll get all of two, all of its DLC, plus a fully recreated one to look and play like two, minus the food throwing mechanic. It's honestly a ton of content for the price, so if you've got someone to play couch co-op games with who's in it for the high level stress, frantic, score chasing, micromanagement, and strategizing, then this game's for you! You are the worst teammate ever! The original Overcooked is cartoony and colorful, but looks like it could have released on the GameCube. But two looks outstanding! Plus, in the all-you-can-eat edition, the original game was completely reworked so that it looks just as great as 2. The original game had you selecting your preferred chef before each level, which ended up distracting players like me for way longer than it should have, cycling through all of them each time. But in 2, you choose your chef on the main menu and you stick with them throughout. This also helps your group better remember who is who for some better communication. For having so much to manage on screen like incoming orders, cooking and shopping ingredients alongside utility placement and navigation, the UI needs to be great, or else players will get easily frustrated. Fortunately, it's pretty good all around. Instead, you'll be setting the kitchen on fire because you got too swept up in other things to keep track of everything else going on all at once. The game's got a ton of chefs to choose from, ranging from tons of funny human characters to bizarre inclusions like a guy with a cardboard box for a head and a paraplegic raccoon. And then there's the dozens of adorable animal chefs added in 2 and in the DLC. The chefs are also cute and funny, you'll honestly have trouble deciding which one you'll be playing as each session, especially when you keep continually unlocking new options. But why is he in a wheelchair if he doesn't even have legs? In Overcooked, you travel back in time to better prepare your cooking skills to fight against the incoming attack of the Ever Peckish, a giant hungry alien meatball. And in two, you're protecting the kingdom by the resurrected horde of the unbred, summoned by the Necronomnomicon. Needless to say, it's amazing. I honestly don't know what more you were expecting from this. The music in Overcooked is surprisingly well orchestrated. Plus with the fun snappy and squishy sound effects, the game feels just as vibrant and cartoonishly alive as the visuals. But the sound mixing can be a little off. 
This is one of those games where you'll want to turn down the volume several notches if you want to play it normally. Though the game sounds great, you may have some trouble really enjoying the soundtrack when you're frantically calling out orders and requests to your teammates before time expires, all making it harder to hear the beeping sounds the food makes when it's warning you that it's about to burn! I swear this was easier to hear in the first game. Or maybe I'm just yelling louder when I play it! COOKING IS LOUD! I hope you had a big lunch, because this game will legitimately make you hungry. I have several friends who refuse to play this game anymore due to how high strung it can get. But it's only stressful because your worst enemy in this game is your own composure. Overcook could be a great time for some crazy couch co-op shenanigans, especially if you enjoy yelling at your friends and family. Until your wife demands that you get max stars on every single stage. Oh man, those space stages from one. And those secret Kevin levels from two. Hey Alex, wanna play Overcooked? Ah! Before we dish up scores here, let's be clear that we're kind of lumping together three game reviews at once here. So you can make the call of which version to try. The original, the sequel, or all you can eat. The positive gamer in me had a blast with Overcooked, serving up a spicy 9 out of 10. For what it is as a crazy party game, this game is a blast. It's colorful, creative, cute, and a funny co-op experience that's certain to stir up some chaos. The critical gamer in me had some minor gripes, but has to admit that Overcooked still serves up a steamy 7 out of 10. Though it can be quite stressful at times, the game is only as relentless as you make it, so it still gets my solid recommendation, especially the generous helpings of DLC. But what do you think? Tell us how your positive and critical sides rate Overcooked in the comments below. But if you find it increasingly difficult to gather together a group of friends who can deal with the high stresses of cooperative team micromanagement, then you should just watch Kim and I's Let's Play series of two, shameless plug. Then you're just playing with yourself! Get it? Because, because you're playing a game? Alone? By yourself? It was funny! Special thanks this week go to Kim for literally blowing my face up with makeup and making our whiteboard art with Kevin and the Onion King. And of course, special thanks go to Symbiote Studios for sending me this awesome overcooked plushie of the ever peckish from the first game. He's awesome, and I love him, and I would snuggle him, but then I would get this black makeup all over him, and I don't want to ruin him because he's amazing. Uh, he also came with this, like, pin here, too. So yeah, check out Symbiote Studios. Uh, they make a bunch of, like, indie video game plushies and pins and stuff. It's awesome. But anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more, and use the links in the description to nominate future episodes. Thank you to our Patreon members, Atomic Thomas, Cameron, Arrow, Ben, Rowan, Erica, Shyam, Squad Fam, Sid, and Denny. Thank you.